Hey friends, it's Gord, your Hurtin' Hippie, with a different kind of video today. Today we're talking about CBC, CBG, CBN, and no, I'm not talking Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. I'm talking CBC, Canada... I don't remember all the names. <laughs> Canada Gerald is CBG, but anyways, the lesser known cannabinoids of the of the marijuana plant this is brought to you by beyond beyond asked me to speak to this because it has a strong uh following that people are starting to realize there's a lot more to this plant than the thc and the cbd cbd wonderful wonderful but there are other precursors and and other such chemicals in this plant that do wonders for us. I promised this video for a while, but it took me a while to find this article. And I found an article that tends to start on it. And it can start all of you who want to know on the same sort of journey I'm on. Learning more about these lesser known cannabinoids. So, cannabinoids cannabinoids can cannabinoids me and t-town tim shout out t-town tim me and t-town tim all kept going back and forth about that what is it cannabinoids or cannabinoids i like cannabinoids but i like the word cannabinoids anyways pitter patter let's get at her i have a leafly article here i will Add the link below so that you can follow along because I'm not going to read the entire article, but I'm going to pass it on to you and show you the links that it does have. It's definitely a start in learning what to do here. So let's talk. Cannabis has an interesting and varied chemistry. The arrays of acids, enzymes, and chemical compounds that compose the cocktail of cannabinoids in the cannabis flower vary from strain to strain. Generally, THC and CBD take the lead in terms of raw percentage, though there are a handful of strains that are exceptions to this rule and exist as outliers, containing higher than average levels of esoteric cannabinoids like CBG. CBN and CBC. So let's talk. Uh, cannabis strains that carry CBN. Let's first talk a little about CBN. CBN has indica like effects in terms of reducing pain and inflammation, offering sedative, body driven effects while stimulating the appetite. The, this cannabinoid is usually more accessible in medical cannabis dispensaries because its application treating a litany of different ailments. Also, growers have noted that later harvests produce more CBN. This makes sense because CBN is a precursor. The bud is it's a breakdown product of THC. As THC gets older, some of it breaks down into CBN. Not a precursor, a follow-up. The longer a bud is exposed to elements, especially heat and UV light, the more CBN is likely to form. And what are some some products? Well, these ones you may know. Uh, animal cookies. I've had those. They are absolutely brilliant. What a different kind of high they give. Uh Ace of Spades, never tried it. Ace of Spades, citrus, terpene profile, and overall indica dominance makes it a go-to for, go for chill nights with early bedtime. So CBN, mostly the indica-type feelings. CBG, like CBN, is non-intoxicating and can be found in trace amounts in your average batch of cannabis. Surprisingly, CBG is the chemical precursor. This is the precursor to both THC and CBN. The older CBG gets, the more likely it is to turn into CBD and or TH, not and, or THC. It has outstanding medicinal uses that include assisting patients with intraocular pressure inflammatory bowel disease 
and muscle spasms. CBG's lack of intoxicating effects make it almost purely ther therapeutic cannabinoid. This is one that has not been highly talked about and because CBG as it ages becomes THC, uh, very often unless you've got a fairly new plant, you're not going to find much of it. Uh, let's go on. What are some CBG rich? Magic Jordan, I've never had but heard of. Destroyer, never tried it. Mickey Kush, never tried it. Allen Wrench, I have tried. Allen Wrench was pretty good, very heavy, very heavy. It's powerful. A couple others, Blueberries, White Level, uh, and El Dorado from Sativa Seed Bank. And then comes the one that I've been most curious about, and it's really hard to find. CBC is probably the most underdefined of the trace cannabinoids in cannabis, but it's gaining notoriety in its use as a potential antidepressant. I thought CBD was good. I've read about CBC, excuse me, and it does much more for repairing bad memory, like PTSD, uh, blocking memory that you don't want, repeating traumatic events, getting away from deep sleep terrors. CBC does so much more than CBD does. However, people haven't caught on yet to that. Uh, and the only one they're talking about here is Three Kings as to having high CBC. It's the only thing I could find. Uh, other, well, it says other CBC strains, George... George's Diamonds, number one by Dutch Passion. So people have to research a little further and these things have to become more well-known and in demand, which will get growers to produce it more. Uh, but definitely read further about this. And I do suggest that right here, this cannabis and depression, you don't see my cursor, but right where I'm beside now cannabis and de <laughs> cannabis and depression click on that click on this there's another good whole story that will carry you down the road of investigation and finding more accurate ways to look after yourself without getting high so Gord get back up to the corner and I hope beyond this has helped you start your investigation process. If you find more, let me know. I'd love to learn more. I enjoyed learning this and this is what this channel's about. You ask questions, I research, I learn some things, I pass it on, and then you guys learn and you pass it on back. Very reciprocal. I like that word. Peace and cheers, friends. Love and harmony. And look for someone without a smile. They need yours. It's a beautiful one. Peace.